found out she was in trouble, I, I didn't know what to do. I knew she was going to end up dead. I felt helpless. Finally, I started Googling sex trafficking in Nashville, and I came up with um, Hope for Justice. And I got all myself together and got all my paperwork around and proof and sent it. Well, the first call I got was from the investigator at Hope for Justice in Nashville. He was real positive, and what I had sent him, and you know, we had a case. I very confident that they would keep digging and they would get justice. Well, when I received the call that she was safe, words can't explain it enough. I was um, so overwhelmed and so grateful that she didn't die. And justice was going to be served. People think it doesn't go on close to them. It, it goes on everywhere. It goes on next door and you don't know it. It doesn't discriminate. And they have a way of getting the girl, whoever, to trust them and to think that they can't live without them. That's all it takes. My daughter said to me, I felt that he loved me because that's how they make them feel. And it's through big manipulation and mind games and use of drugs and whatever else they have, forces they have to use. If we don't get rid of them that do it, it's not going to go away. It will keep on. You got to come together or it gets too late. Not everybody gets free and not every person that is holding them gets caught so they're able to keep doing it. I couldn't be more thankful for the people that keep this program going and donate to this program and I will be donating. It's gonna take everybody. <laughs>